All right, Shalom. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessing to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. All right, so I just wanted to do this, a, a, a quick hit, all right, quick impromptu, all right. You know, we're, we're in the time of prop of prophecy, man. All right, and prophecy trumps everything. That's what we got to remember, man. We got to, you know, prophecy is all about prophecy, which is Yahweh Shah, Revelation 19 and 10. All right, and GMS is a prophecy group. All right, this is going to be a, a, a basic lesson. All right, nothing nothing deep and drawn out. Like I said, this is going to be a quick impromptu, a quick hit. All right, so I'm just going to uh, quote a few scriptures. All right, a few basic scriptures. I just want to uh, get something up real quick while I got time. All right, you see these damn eater mites. All right, they 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 living it up, but yeah, man, you know, and it's a, you know beautiful sunset and everything, man, you know. But I was because I, I was looking at this man, and I was, you know, I was thinking, if, if, imagine how our kingdom gonna be, man. That's why the scriptures say, uh, it it had not heard nor I have seen what what Yahweh Shemaosha had prepared for them that love him, man. And you know, I was just. I was just pondering that and looking at all this, man. You know, I'm in, I'm in a uh, hotel or whatever. All right. But yeah, man. All right, not to go off talk, topic, but yeah, I was looking at this, man, thinking, you know, if <laughs> if, if if they got this, man, you know, <laughs> you know, these, 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 you know, riverside houses and lakeside houses and all that, man. Imagine what your house your mouth shot got prepared for his elect, man. For the nation of Israel starting with their lit. All right. But yeah, man, you know, getting back on topic, man, it's all about prophecy, man. And you know, we we ought to be we ought to be watching at all time and at all costs, man. Yahweh Shah said, uh you know, you know, all Yahweh Shah constantly preached for us to watch, man, to, to the disciples, man. You know, that's what we're doing. We're all liking them to the disciples in this time, man. All right, it's all about watchmen, man. The Lord said, "Watchmen, you know, for 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 the sheep, man, for the lost sheep, man." What's that? Uh, Isaiah sixty-two and six, man. Isaiah, well, it's a lot of watchmen scriptures, man. Isaiah sixty-two and six, uh, Habakkuk two and one, Ezekiel three and seventeen, and and, and we're those watchmen, man. All right, and we we we'll, we watch for the prophecy. All right, we we watch over the flock, man, because you how I told Peter three times. You know, feed my sheep and feed my lambs. And that's what we're doing, man. We're, we're, we constantly seek to edify the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, man, because hey, we're, almost, we're at the end. We're almost home, man. And like I said, you see these, you know, Esau, they out here, you know, living it up. But, <laughs> hey, man, you know, they're almost done. That's the scripture tell them to live it up, man. So, <laughs> you know, we, we don't envy the oppressor, man, because we know what we got coming, Lord willing. We be of those first fruits, man. All right. What's that? Uh, Lamentations, uh, the fourth chapter. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. All right. Because the, the iniquity of, of uh, the uh, the punishment of our iniquity is almost accomplished. All right, us being the uh, the daughter of Zion, man. All right, so we're almost out of here, man. But yeah, I was just you know out here, you know. You know, it was a beautiful day today. It's like like 70 degrees. You know, you see the uh, the sun is beginning to set. Beautiful sunset, by the way. I, I was just thinking, man. Let me let me get something up, man. For for you know for for the flock, Lord willing, this is edifying. But yeah, man. I was just you know beautiful sight. You know, love lovely all uh, sunset, man. To see the sun setting on the on the horizon. All right. Yeah, I was just thinking, man, you know, it's still at the end of the day, it's about prophecy, man. Prophecy is popping like popcorn, man, and that's what we watch for, man. You know, we watch for the prophecies, man, because, you know, we're ready to get the hell out of here, man. You know, even if you, even if you're not, you know, his poor, uh, you know, in Esau's kingdom, if you have a little wealth, man, either way, it's, this ain't living, man. 
All right, because you know, we're still in this sinful flesh. We're still under the foot of our enemies, man. All right, and we need salvation more than anything, man. You know, for the ones of, of our people, these, these celebrities and whatnot, man, that's living well off, well, you know, no one man is greater than his people. A, a great example of that is our forefather Moses, man. All right. You know, Moses was, was well off in Egypt, man. Hey, he was straight. Moses ain't have a, a, a worry in the world when he was uh, back, doing the, uh, back doing the Egyptian captivity, man. He was raised as the Pharaoh's grandson. But uh, Moses chose to uh, suffer, man, with his people. He bruised the 11th chapter. All right. So, yeah, man, you know, we, we, we're thankful above all to have this truth, man, and to know what's going on, man. To know uh, prophecy, man, because like the elders say, <laughs> used to, like the elders tell us, King Marshall used to say all the time, man, if, if, if you know the Bible, you know the future. All right, because, because of what prophecy, man, you know the scriptures, the Holy Scriptures, the Bible is the only book that contains prophecy, man. That's what, make it, that's what makes it the most powerful document on the face of the earth, man. It's a living, breathing document. All right, and we know the future through the spirit and power of Yahweh, of Yahweh, by Shema Shah, because we know prophecy, man, and it's all about prophecy, man. You know Isaiah thirty four and sixteen, none of the prophecies shall fail, and and, and, and you know Yahweh, by Shema Shah is showing us that he's making true on his word, man. Prophecies are popping like popcorn, man. You know, and it's all about prophecy, man. We gotta watch. We can't get faint, man, because you know we can't take our hand off the plow. You know. We're coming in a time of, of, of great tribulation, man. And we got to repent, all right? We got to repent constantly and pray constantly, you know, and watch, you know, that uh, that we can escape these things, man, that the Lord have mercy on us to escape all these things. I think that's uh, Luke, the 19th chapter, man. Repent, repent, and pray that you be worthy to escape all these things. The things that it's talking about in Luke, the 19th chapter, are Jacob's trouble, man. You know, World War Three, the famine, the pestilence, the division, the civil war, the race wars, man, the class wars, all right, the, the, the insurrections, the sedition among men, man, all right, we pray that we escape all these things, and that's why we do the work, man, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men, all right, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, because we know what's coming down the pipe, man, and it ain't nothing good, man. All right, nothing good is coming to this place, man. All right, the scriptures say that this place has to go out by violence, man. All right, and we got to enter into the kingdom through much tribulation, Acts 14 and 22. All right, so we can't get content. We can't get settled on our leaves, man, because all, all of the ones of our people, all the Israelites that settled on their leaves, man, it, it, the Lord going to visit them, man. Uh, I think that's... um. Isaiah the 30th chapter, I want to say. All right. That, yeah, man, we, um, you know, we, we, we ready to get the hell out of here. Because like I said, man, you know, this, this ain't living. We ready to go home, man. All right. We ready to see our Lord Yahweh shot, man. Because our people, you know, need salvation. We need salvation, man. All right, we need to be delivered out of this sinful flesh, man. We're ready to be changed, Lord willing. We make it on the first go-round, man, because we all got to be changed, man. We got to put off this uh, corruptible flesh and put on the incorruptible. incorruptible. All right, pursuing the uh, second Thessalonians, I want to say, man. All right, we got to put on that immortal flesh, man, that, you know, that, that uh, stony heart. We got to put salaki. We got to put on that fleshly heart, all right, and, not, and, and, get, and, get, and get rid of these stony hearts, man. All right, so so we pray that you know Yahweh by Shemal Shah speeds up the days, showing the days as, as the scriptures say, and speeds up prophecy, man. And we know the Lord is going to do that. The scriptures tell us He's going to do that, man. All right, and we can't wait, man. You know we're ready for all hell to break loose. This is 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, and that's what we're praying for, man. You know we're praying for Jacob's trouble. Jer Jeremiah 37, Daniel 12 and 1, because that's the only way. We gonna get out of here, man, for prophecy. Yahweh Shah said all things must be fulfilled. All right? And you know, we constantly pray to Yahweh Shah 
that you know he he's he, he speeds up the days, man. Cause we're hastening the day. You know the, the, the disciples always inquired of Yahweh, you know, without this time restore the kingdom of Israel. You know, and that's what and that's our mentality. That's that's our mindset, man. Alright. And we know it's right around the corner. It's pretty much here, man. We're in the midst of um World War Three coming to pass, being completely uh full going completely full blown, blown nuclear nuclear. But we know the uh, C hip has to come first, the MOTB Revelation 13, 16, and 17. All right, and, and that's basically here, man, because the first human has received the brain chip, man. All right, from that devil Elon Musk. All right, so it's full, it's here. It just got to be fully implemented and made mandatory. All right, because that has to happen before World War Three. All right, Second Edges the fourth chapter. I want to say, man. You know, the Lord doesn't move or stir until the said measure be fulfilled, man. So, you know, everything is in place, man. All the prophecies are, 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 are Yahweh Shemar Shah got all the prophecies in place. Just like uh, this devil Esau, all right, got his infrastructure set for his wicked new world order, man. Hey, Yahweh Shemar Shah got all the prophecies uh, in place, man. He just he just ain't brought in the past fully yet, but all the prophecies are in place, man. Habakkuk 2 and 3, man. For sure it will come to pass, though it tarry, wait for it, it will no longer tarry, man. All right, so the prophecies are in place, man. The MOTB, the C-HIP, all right, the famine of the world with this heavy censorship. So everything is here. We just got to keep watching and, and praying, man. All right, so I just wanted to uh, say that real quick, man. You know, we're almost out of here. We got to keep praying, keep fasting. Of course, keep watching, man. All right, and pray that Yahweh Hashem Shah make a speed and riddance of this wicked kingdom, or queendom rather, man. All right, so I just want to put this up real quick, quick impromptu. Hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shah. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Hashem Shah, by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in our truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with 144,000, followed by the one-third remnant. Hey man, all this shit about to be, all this shit is going to be destroyed in one hour, man, pursuant to the book of uh, Revelation, man. One hour. Look at all this, man. <laughs> hey, all this going to be destroyed and go up in smoke in one hour, man. Call Allah, you how about shot? A bobble ball. Shalom.